Hi guys, so today I'm going to be carrying out a little experiment because I was watching a video from Larry NYC a couple of months back. He had somebody else with him, I can't remember the chap's name now, but he was showing Larry how he would go about cleaning these wheels. Instead of using all these different tools, he just used this one thing and it was so obvious. And I was looking at it thinking, these guys are actually geniuses because they've come up with a really good way of cleaning your wheels without having to spend a fortune on loads of different brushes. So I thought today I'll give it a go. So this is my beloved Audi. As you can see, I'm always featuring it because I love it so much. Now these wheels are looking pretty ghastly. I haven't done this for a few weeks. I actually did a video the other day with the steam cleaner and it's come up really well, but one thing I didn't get to do was the mat. So I'm gonna give it a quick vacuum again later on, but we'll be leaving that for the film today because my main focus is cleaning these wheels. And you have to excuse the audio today because it is very windy. But now if you look inside this bucket, I have loads of different brushes. There is gonna be one brush that I am going to use, but not on the wheels. It's actually just gonna be used for the tires. And that is my good old fashioned tire brush because the tool that I'm gonna be using on the wheels, there's no way that I could get away with using it on the tires. And I will explain in a minute what that tool is. So I wanna take you through some of my wheel brushes, but I wanna get a very good point across because I, I test all sorts of things. So. This is a very realistic video because you're gonna to get to see things as I'm showing you right now. There's nothing hidden here, there's nothing fake. This is wheel brush I got from Timu that I've been experimenting with so much and we've basically tested it to destruction. Initially when I started this, it was very good. Everything was working quite well, but a few weeks later, yeah, well I say maybe just over a week later, it just started to deteriorate. So that is completely knackered. Now these are, genuine wheel willies. As you can see, this one is dead. This has been used over a year now and it's completely come to end of, end of its life. It's not one I'm carrying around with me, by the way. I've just chucked some in here to show you what happens. Normally what they start out like is this. So this, I know this is a bendy one, but this in fact is the same. Now these have been tested to destruction. So Bearing in mind, this got used well over a year, maybe a bit, yeah, maybe over one and a half years. That is a very good investment. If you're gonna get wheel willies, go for the genuine ones like these. I know it looks really bad, but they are very good. And I wanna show you what happens to the larger ones. Now, when you start catching the spokes, this is what's going to happen. So they're all going to start off like this. They look nice and lovely. They're great for those big gaps, but for things like this, never gonna work. But if you were to, force it in too much or just catch it around any of the discs there on the brakes, that is what happens. We then have these from Valet Pro. This is my favorite brush, believe it or not. I still use it to this day, even in this condition, but I'm very careful because I tell you what, when I'm brushing in here on the wheels, it really can do a good job. I like the way that it feels quite stiff, but you do get a lot of kickback. So again, it's, a, it's another little downer, but all in all, if they can fix the handle, I would say this is one of the best brushes out there. One thing that is surviving is another Valet Pro brush. I still use this. It's annoying that it gets quite bendy, but it bends very easily. And I know people might disagree and say, well, it's good you can get it around the gaps and that. But nevertheless, it's, it's held up, it's doing good. It's lost a bit of the rubber here, which is a shame, but I'm still, I'm impressed with that one. So this is my skinny wheel, Willie. This is lasted longer than any other brush because I don't always use it but it's it's only just started to go there at the bottom and yeah to be honest with you you need one of them you definitely need one of these as well a Vicam brush so that's just some of the tools I've got a few other ones in here which I will go through another day I might do a complete guide to wheel cleaning again because I think I need to update that video but instead of using all these different tools today especially my broken ones we're actually going to be using one of these a microfiber cloth that is it so basically I have a microfiber cloth in a bucket of shampoo and I'm gonna put some wheel cleaner on it as well and I'm gonna jet wash some of the wheel but I don't wanna use anything too strong because I just wanna demonstrate this actually in action. And I don't know why a lot of people are against using this method. I mean, if you've got a car like this, I agree, it might not be something you should be using on the finest Rolls Royce wheels, for example, but for cars like this, everyday run of the mill vehicles, I think this might actually have its place. So I wanna put it to the test today because like I said, ever since I've seen that, I just, I've got to try it. I just have to try it out. When I did say I was only using one tool, 
yeah, I didn't lie. I was actually meaning, I was implying the microfiber cloth, but I still will be using a pressure washer, my other easy P57. Brilliant machine that is. Right, anyway, I'm gonna jump straight on with this and let's see what happens. Right, so in case you're wondering why I'm not using all my fancy cameras and I'm just sticking with the GoPro, well, sometimes I just like to do that because the weather, as you can probably tell from this camera now, it's gonna hammer it down any minute because we've got Storm Gary or whatever the freak its name is. Whatever crazy disaster storm we got coming in the UK, it's never looking good, is it? When do we get the sun? Let's do this. Actually, I'm not gonna use wheel cleaner. I'm actually just gonna give it a quick rinse because these might even come up okay anyway. Yeah, that's not too bad. As you can see, there's enough dirt to work with. So I'm gonna put some gloves on. It's very important that you do that. Now the reason why I'm doing this, another reason is because wheel cleaning is such a very slow, difficult, laborious task. And not many people enjoy doing the wheels because the wheels involve a lot of bending over, getting down in line with the wheel and yeah, it's, not, it's just not a fun task to do. Believe it or not, I really did enjoy trying this method out. And you've got to be careful that the cloth doesn't touch the ground and pick up any dirt. Because in all honesty, if you're after a scratch-free finish, then you're much better off going through the proper process of using wheel cleaner, foam, rinse, foam again before attempting to brush. But for someone like me who has average age cars that are rough around the edges, it really doesn't matter. In fact, I found it way faster than using a wheel brush. And also you have to bear in mind that every wheel is going to be different so you really shouldn't go forcing your hand inside especially if the engine is running in case it rolls for some reason. This is purely something I would use to speed up the cleaning of the faces and the faces only. So it's just a quick hack for those of you who don't have a huge budget for wheel brushes and speaking of hacks and budget friendly tips I have a few videos you can go and watch right here.